All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, our topic is kind of exciting, and it's about actions. And I know all of you, you like actions. Uh, I am the only one who don't really enjoy action too much. I have too much of it in my life. Hmm. So today, we will talk about James Bond. I'm sure many of you know James Bond, um, or maybe all of you. I'm not sure. Uh, depend where which galaxy you live in. However, James Bond is a very famous figure as somebody he can do things nobody can do. I mean, he can jump on the air, he can shoot from a gun, never get empty. He shoot like 100 people and he never even get injured. And like sometime, sometime he have some dirt in his nails after all this fight. Uh, James Bond, uh, you know, he have a special weapons. He have a special way of thinking and he is very attractive or sorry attractive yeah for for women and i found that james wand was so much similar to prophet muhammad peace upon him especially when it's come to women i mean you name it there's no way a woman she will see james bond and she don't want to sleep with him this is exactly what happened to the Prophet Muhammad? And this is why Allah He made a verse in the Quran in the chapter of Al Ahzab saying, Any believing woman, she now give herself to the Prophet. And you notice the same happened to James Bond. Any actor in the movie, she have to give herself to the Prophet, especially if she is young and beautiful. But this is not really the topic. The topic is about spine. In most of the scenario about James Bond, you know, like there is a spy and he is from different country, Soviet Union, blah, 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 Chinese, uh, yeah, you know, like yeah, it's, a, it's a movie. But we find the same stories is really exist in the Quran and Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, he was way, uh, you know, I mean, advanced before James Bond and his uh, uh, legacy of uh, fighting terrorist or uh, uh, spying etc so what spies we are talking about spying in the in Islamic religion according to Muhammad Satan's they try to spy at Allah if we go in the Quran please invite your friends and share the link around so we have more people here uh, <clears throat> We find the Quran saying things which is kind of strange. And put it, put it in the screen. Chapter 15, verse number 18. And this is a Muslim translation, as you see, uh, not my translation. You remember Muslims, they make articles that Allah, He created the atmosphere, and even the Quran speak about the atmosphere. But the fact, the Quran never spoke about the atmosphere. Uh, when the Quran says we made the sky protected roof, he was talking about protecting the sky, not the earth. Protecting the sky from the shaitan who tried to steal information. In other words, a spy, literally spying. But why the uh, why those uh, shaitan? Why what did they want to spy about? What exactly? Like most of us, we would like to know what will happen tomorrow, uh, what we will, uh, when we will die, uh, what is the bad news or good news will happen. So, when the shaitan he want to know what will happen tomorrow, he go up to the heaven, the shayateen, many of them, the children of Iblis, the children of Satan, they go up to heaven and they steal information from heaven. So here you notice that Allah, he uh, he is suffering from many same problem we suffer from it today. I mean, there's hackers. You all of you heard about uh, uh, the hilarious Clinton. Uh, sorry, Hillary Clinton. She was hacked uh, by the Russian, and then they published the news about her. Allah having the same problem. But in this case, the Russian are not the one trying to hack Allah. It is the shaitan, shaitan and his uh, children. They go and they climb up to the heaven, trying to get to close as much as they can so they can spy at Allah. And by the way, this is proven to be accurate scientifically. You know? Uh, 
I mean, there's no doubt about it. And you cannot you cannot uh, think for a second that this is not true. If there is any Muslim, by the way, in the chat, he have something to say, please feel free. Okay? You don't have to agree with me, but let me know what do you think. Now, uh, Allah, he says, and we have guarded it. What is that? The sky. Verily, we have uh, in the heaven, we have set mansions. But by the way, the translation here, it doesn't say mansion. It says zodiac, uh, you know, towers. Uh, Buruj, towers. This is a zodiac, you know, which is very ancient. Of the stars, and we have a beautified, uh, beautified for be the beholder. Which means the Quran claim that the one of the reasons of the creation of the stars is to make the sky beautiful. Mm, interesting, but most of the stars actually we don't see. What we see of the stars is very limited number, small number. The majority of them we don't see them. So what does this have to do with beautification? And then Allah He mentioned, and we have guarded it from every outcast devil. So Allah guard what? Allah guard the sky from every cast out devil. Allah he cast them out of heaven. Save him who steal the hearing. Okay, so here the verse confirm that there is some shaitans are able and successful to hack into the system of Allah, to pass his defense system. Like, you know, Allah protected the sky. Yes, but still there is some shaitans. They are very bad. To the point they can go through and they get into Allah to hear his news and by the way this is true you know uh, obviously Allah is using uh, a very uh, a bad uh, network you know to the point uh, shaitan he can get in if you remember shaitan you know it's proven that Allah his network or his protection is very weak if you remember the story where Allah uh, he said to shaitan get out of it you know um, Allah he ordered him to get out of heaven but shaitan is still uh, you know he was able to get back I mean how I don't know obviously shaitan he can get inside the heaven even though Allah uh, uh, you know he kicked him out uh, which obviously mean all that he is not really in control of his heaven uh, If you read with me here chapter 7 verse number 18 Allah he said to shaitan uh, And the translation here he says go forth from hence uh, this is not really a good translation I will make it simple Allah said to the shaitan get out of here well, From where here what the heaven let us go to the different, different translation. Maybe we can get something more clear this guy is drinking too much hashish. Um, let us see which hashish we will take. All of them, they are hashish anyway. Um, let us see. The Muslim, they like this guy, Maududi, Dudi. But let us see. We can put the Maududi too. I mean, it doesn't hurt. All right. So Allah said to Iblis, get out from this and between to bracket paradise. You see, this is the Muslim translation, not my translation. Okay. So here, guys, you know, when the Muslim, they say to us, they say, if Allah wanted something to happen, he say, be is going to be, correct? Do we agree? This is what the Muslim, they say to us. Isn't it Allah, he says in the chapter 3, that the similarity between Isa and Adam is the same. If uh, uh, Allah wanted something to be, he say, be, and it was. Yeah. So Allah now he said to Shaitan, uh, "Get out." So should Shaitan be out or not? What do you think? Do we have any Muslim here would like uh, have a comment? When Allah he said to Shaitan, "Get out," is Shaitan out or Shaitan like you know? Allah could not kick him out. Any Muslim? Any Muslim have any comment? Who is a who, who is a Muhammadan in that in the chat would like to say something to us? Anyone? If you are a Muhammadan uh, and if you have a comment, please feel free. 
so here Allah he said to shaitan get out so what will what uh, what we should understand now that shaitan is out there is no way you know imagine this is Allah if Allah said to Christian Prince get out that's mean I, that Allah he said be is going to be it's not about me moving now you know you moving is not an option it you are going to be out because Allah said you are out that's it it's not up to you now to move like uh, shaitan go home and collect his uh, baloney and his iPad and his phone no 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 Allah he said to him get out that's it you're out so as you see in the verse and this is chapter 7 verse 18 Allah said to shaitan out and then Allah after that he said to Adam Adam you and your wife uh, go and live in paradise and eat all the fruits uh, so now shaitan is out paradise is only have who Adam and Eve shaitan is not there but look what happened then shaitan whispered whispered to Adam like hold on but shaitan is out already how he can whisper to Adam do you know what I'm saying Mohammedans if Allah kicked out shaitan already how shaitan is out as you see Allah he told him <coughs> to shaitan get out how Allah said to shaitan get out and then shaitan is whispering to Adam and Eve do you see the problems uh, Mohammedans I mean this is a big problem I mean this is a fat problem If Allah he said to shaitan get out as we see and this is two verse before not only you are get out get out with disgrace and that's it you are the, the angels will grab him from his ass and they will kick his ass they will brunch him in his eyes and they will kick him and they will man the guy he will be thrown in the in out of heaven like a like a dog and then just two verses after we say shaitan after Adam Allah he said to Adam hey Adam take your wife huh? take your hurma by the way why Allah created only one Eve to Adam I mean he's a Muslim what's wrong with this Adam look like he was not really too much horny because the real Muslim is very horny I mean Allah will give us 72 women in heaven but here we go Adam is in heaven I mean why only one look like at that time Adam was not really he, he did not know much about sex yet he did not watch any uh, uh, TV stations uh, he, he's not he's not expert so uh, anyway like he did not have any uh, satellite or you know porn stations so anyway i feel sorry for him then he shaitan shaitan after adam he was told by allah go on your wife and have sex and have fun and eat a grape and uh, you know make salad uh, shaitan he whispered into adam but how shaitan he can whisper into adam and adam is in heaven and shaitan is out of heaven any uh, any Muhammadan and uh, he have an idea how shaitan is out and he was able to communicate with Adam anyone you know I will give you options either it's a uh, Viber what's up uh, Instagram or maybe YouTube I don't know any uh, Muslim okay well this is look like it's a it's a mystery and we will leave that for Prophet Muhammad in the day of judgment to explain to us and trust me the Prophet he knew everything I'm telling you he knew everything so shaitan after he was kicked out of heaven he was able to get back to heaven and this is what the verse here in the Quran saying that shaitan yes Allah kicked him out from heaven and Allah guarded the sky and this is chapter 15 verse number 17 18 as you see uh, Allah he kicked out shaitan yes but there is some shaitans they are very aggressive and they are very tricky very tricky so they can penetrate the defense system of Allah and they hack into the system and still they can steal as you see save him who steals the hearing but the one who is still hearing what will happen to him guys did you notice what Allah will do to him yes he was able to still hearing but look there is a consequence do you notice what Allah will do with him 
who knows what Allah will do to him? Who's a Muslim want to help us? There's a shaitan, he go and he put his hair, his head in the door, and you know, he's listening now to Allah talking to the angels. Okay. But yes, he stole some information, but look what will happen. Allah will shoot him with a star in his ass. And actually, I am uh, me as an Arab, I witness, I saw a lot of Satan's, their ass is red like a chimpanzee. This is a true story, brother. You know, if you go to the zoo, you will find uh, many monkeys, they have red ass. Maybe you, you thought this is something like, an, I mean, no, my brother, those are, they used to be uh, uh, Satan, and Allah burned their ass, and he cursed them, and he made them monkeys. And it's until now red, because the burning was really severe. And there's no cream, even Vaseline cannot help it. So save him who steals the hearing, and them doth clear flame pursue. pursue. So here the story is getting so complicated. In different verse on the Quran, we're trying to make a presentation for the topic. Until now, we did not start the topic, by the way. Just be careful. All right. The suspense will start soon. This is just like, uh, you know, in, in James Bond movie, like, you know, the James Bond go in the office, he throw his hat and the secretary is waiting for him. And right away, she start kissing him. Man, why I did not, why God did not make me James Bond for a, even a day? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyway, what I can say. Okay, so look here what happened. In different verse on the Quran, Allah said the following. Chapter 67, verse number 5. It says that Allah created here first, Allah created the heaven, seven heaven. So take, in your, take a note, there is seven heaven. There's no six, seven, I mean, no seven, number seven. And then, uh, I don't know what to say about this one. Then look again, and yet again, the sight will, ret will return into thee, uh, we weakened and made them. Anyone understand anything? Don't ask me. I'm getting dizzy. And verily, we have beautified the, the word heaven with lamps. And we made those lamps missiles for the devil. And for them, we have prepared the doom of a flame. By the way, there's no doom. It's a flame. I mean, it's a it's a blazing flame, not a doom. I mean, this guy translation is really weird. But anyway, so look what happened here. Shaitan, he go to try and he succeeds sometime to steal information from the angels of Allah. However, don't think Allah is not aware. Allah immediately will grab one of the stars, and he have a lot of them. I mean, look at the sky, how many stars there is. All right? And all of you, 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 you know, you notice, every day we see some, if you go in the dark, you know, um, sometimes we go in the dark because your mother-in-law, she hit you in your, in your eye, or, and sometimes because it's dark at night. So I'm talking about the dark at night. So if you go at dark at night, in the backyard of your house or in the in the roof and you look at the sky you will see some stars falling down those are not stars those Allah they, they are stars but those are Allah shooting them as missiles on the ass of shaitan so shaitan cannot spy at Allah and this is proven to be true too all right I mean, who can deny it? Don't you, all of you, you see this? Uh, the, we call them in English shooting stars. But in Islam, by the way, they are not shooting stars. They are really stars, massive stars. Allah, he used them. And this is actually, this is the purpose of uh, those stars. There's two reasons. To beautify the sky and to uh, shoot the, the shaitan. Here, the translation, by the way, is not correct. It says here, وَلَقَدْ زَيِّنَّا السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا Translation saying, and we verily, we have beautified the world. The fact doesn't say that. It says, and we decorated the lowest heaven. Let us change the Abdul here. I mean, what I can say, all the Abdul's translation is very funny and weird. So we have to change, keep jumping like monkeys from place to place. See, here we go. And indeed, we have adorned the nearest heaven, actually, even the nearest, nearest to us. So they should say the lowest heaven. This is why it says in Arabic. So 
according to the Quran stars exist only in the nearest earth, uh, heaven to us so the Muslim they say this is about the atmosphere so in the atmosphere we have stars only so the Quran confirmed there's only stars only in the atmosphere because the purpose of them is to beautify the sky and the same time to shoot the shaitan in his ass if he try to spy all right I'm a Muslim but if anyone here can prove me that Jesus God uh, will celebrate Easter uh, 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 listen listen uh, uh, go ahead. don't try to change my topic otherwise I will I will block you all right we have a topic you want to share with it you're welcome you want to talk about something else take a hike Muslims take my advice we have a topic be consistent you you want to believe in Jesus or not this is not my business let us read the stupidity in front of us and then you can worry about Jesus I mean look look at this idiot we are showing him how stupid the Quran is and he's saying to us brothers and sisters my name is that and if you can prove to me that this is God I'm going to celebrate the ether I mean you are worried now about the Easter worry about shaitan is being burned by stars because he tried to spy at Allah I mean what's wrong with the Muslims this is what you worry about now we don't want you to celebrate the, the Easter no celebrate shaitan is his ass is being burned focus focus Abdul What the funny people in I mean look how they try to avoid the disaster we have in front of us so he tried to divert your intention from what's stupid in the front of us to talk about something else because he's ashamed of it and by the way the action did not start yet just wait until Zach and Nick, he called <laughs> anyway so here brother shaitan uh, when he tried to spy at Allah Allah shoot him now we will go to a story mentioned by Prophet Muhammad. When we say Prophet Muhammad, what we have to say in Arabic? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which means Allah pray on him, not for him. Ah, remember, Mimi Hijab, he explained that to us. Allah pray for him, not on him. Ah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, uh, now we go to the action story of a prophet Muhammad who nobody knows things as he do the messenger of Allah this is Sahih Muslim this is Sahih so the Muslims cannot say to us this is weak actually we can see the story from Sahih Bukhari the same story I mean you you pick up your you whatever you jam at all, all of them they are Sahih so you choose which one you want uh, it doesn't matter really okay yeah you want Sahih Bukhari we read Sahih Bukhari we want Sahih Muslim what is Sahih Muslim? Let us start from the one and the top. All right. The Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah pray on him and salute him because Allah worked for the Prophet. Neither recited the Quran to the jinn, nor did he see them. What? Ibn Abbas said, The Prophet. Neither recited the Quran to the jinn, nor did he see them. What does that mean? That's not true. The Quran said the opposite, but we will continue. The message of Allah went out with some of his companion with the intention of going to bazaar, bazaar, you know, a market of Okaz. And there had this is the name of the market and there had been at that time obstruction obstructions between the satans and the news from heaven Oof. bingo at that time like now guys you want to have a news like if you live in america you open like fox news fake news cnn all the stupid news stations in the time of the prophet Arab, they tried to open TV stations. All of them, there is no news. There is no news. That's it. Why? Because something stopped the news from coming from heaven. Something happened. All right. And then, and they were, and they are where 
flung flames upon them oof, 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 oof. so you know the news the news no news no more people they see flames okay who is talking Muhammad but nobody saw anything yet only Muhammad he said that so Satan went back to their people so shaitan he went to go to the news as usual but he could not get in so he went back to their people the satans by the way he says here satan it should say satans not one satan so went back to their people and they said what has happened to you so the other people like you know the, the shaitan he have a family and a group and he likes to live together big city full of shaitan full of shaitan in the middle east we have a lot of shaitan there so he went to go to heaven to steal news a group of shaitans but they could not get because because a flame of fire came on them like so they, they, their asses burned they came back brother and then their people the people of shaitan like their wives and girlfriends and you know like jessica and monica they are waiting they said they have been created obstructions between us and the news in the heaven so shaitan are confused like how this happened we almost go there and nothing and we can spy I mean every day we go and we spy at Allah but suddenly something happens stop us from getting the news of Allah so what happened and there have been flung upon us flames man so shaitan shaitan now the satans explain to their families we went there to spy for the news but guess what suddenly flames of fire start coming at us and we cannot get in so look what happened they said which means shaitans talking to their family to the one who went to the sky and their asses burned it cannot happen but for some between two bracket important event so shaitan now is guessing must be something really serious happened to the point we cannot go to the heaven and spy hmm. so they are trying to find out what is the reason uh, you know like is happening here you know something happened between the east and the west of the earth which is preventing us from going to heaven so look what happened you know there have been created obstructions between us and the news in the heaven so they went forth and traversed to the east of the earth and the west so shaitan now became so confused he is looking what is the reason what is the reason where we come like how what 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 happened so they are like searching for something you know shaitan want to know what happened like how and what happened man we always go there so now they are start looking for what is the reason for we cannot go to heaven they are expecting something happen so some of them proceed toward tihama it's an area in the Arabian Peninsula and uh, and they went to the bazaar of uh, Oqaz and he the Holy Prophet was leading his companions so guys those shaitans who could not go to heaven they were looking why this is happening it's investigating like you know on the, the Mueller investigation about Trump it's the same so they were searching papers searching the news they went to the west of the earth and the east of the world so imagine far away looking and the east of the world and the west of the world look like it is in mecca i mean this is how how big the world of the shaitan is and they saw the prophet muhammad leading his companion in the morning prayer so when they heard the quran they listened to it mm -hmm. and alternatively they, and said it is this which has caused obstructions between us and the news from heaven oh boy it is this shaitan he could not spy at the heaven because the prophet muhammad he prevents shaitan from spying by reading the quran and this is why James Bond is not important figure no more. You see, James Bond, he have to go after the spy. The spy is already spying. Muhammad, he do not need to do that. He stopped the spying. Since Muhammad became a prophet, Shaitan cannot spy no more. Spying is ended. 
and there is no way shaitan can get into Allah computer and spy at the information so now shaitan after he discovered the reasons behind this why they cannot spy at Allah they went back to their people and they said oh our people we have heard a strange Quran for sure strange I mean it's crazy I have to be honest I mean this is the only true story true line in the whole conversation which which directed us to the right path oh boy those shaitan they converted to Islam unbelievable did you see what happened did you see guys did you notice the miracle here shaitans they went they saw the prophet praying and reading Quran and the shaitan they came back to people as Muslims they went as shaitan they came back as a Muslim shaitan so they went back to their people and said oh our people we have heard a strange Quran which direct us to the right path and obviously this is amazing I mean imagine you wake up in the morning as shaitan and afternoon you are a Muslim shaitan isn't it beautiful okay and then so we affirm our faith in it so they took shahada not only they say this is the truth no they took shahada so we affirm our faith in it and we would never associate anyone with our Lord that became decent Abdul Muslims you see how shaitan he converted to Islam and he became a decent Abdul that's it why I mean look at the story how the, uh, this is what amazing about about this story in the morning you wake up and you are uh, a shaitan you go in a mission to spy at Allah you want to spy you go to heaven and then Allah showed you with the with the with the flame and the stars so you come back and your ass is burned and you start looking for a reason why this happened why this happened we are doing that for endless of time thousands of years we go there and we spy and Allah cannot stop us something must happen so shaitans they start looking for and by the way uh, here it says uh, jinn but the fact it is shaitan you know I mean it says Satan you see Satan's those are Satan's so the Satan's they could not grab the news and then when they look for the reason they found Prophet Muhammad leading the prayer of the Abdul and right away when they heard the Quran all the Satan's there they went back to their people and they said our people we have heard a strange Quran which directs us to the right path so we affirm our faith in it and we would never associate anyone with our Lord uh, you know uh, Goled you know you keep saying us can you prove to me that Jesus is a God from the Quran yes I can but let me give you I will give you time out next time you keep repeating the same question I will I will ban you from that uh, chat all right I warned you before we have a topic I don't care if you want to believe in Jesus now or not all right, go. To, you know, let, let me tell you the good news. Go to hell. I mean, obviously, you are a donkey, and let me tell you why. You just said a second ago that this is funny, and you are laughing at the Quran. Yet you are claiming to be a Muslim. So, if you have a dignity, if you have really little brain, you should denounce this cult first, and then you ask me about Jesus. So, why you don't say I am out of this cult? And then you have the right to say to me, okay, I want to be Christian. You are a double standard person. You are very confused and you are silly and you are stupid and you are not fit to be between between the kids who, who even in, in, in a classroom of the five years old age. You are worried about Jesus. Now worry about this garbage you follow. This is what you follow. You bow down your head five times to, to a God you do not know. You never heard of him. Muhammad himself never spoke to him. He never saw him. He never even heard his fart. And yet he come to you with funny, stupid stories. And then you go between the Christian, prove to me that Jesus is God. I want you to prove to me that Jesus is God. Prove to us that you have a brain first. Prove to me that you have little brain. You don't have a brain in your head. You have a zucchini. 
in order to tell you about Jesus, prove to me first that you are a person who can understand what we are talking about. Look what you are believing in. This is what you believe in. Allah shoots Shaitan in his ass and he created the star to shoot Shaitan because he started to steal information. I mean, this is a story made in the Quran for who? For a first degree, for five years old babies, for 10, ten years old kids. I mean, for who? So you Muslims are really weird. You want us not to believe in Jesus. When Jesus, the person who speak the amazing wisdom in the Bible, go and read it. And then we listen to Muhammad who come to us with the most funny, stupid stories. Even James Bond, he cannot beat him with that. Don't waste my time. I know you are not interested in Jesus. But you are in pain for what we are showing you in the screen. You try to divert our topic, so we will talk about something else. And look what you brought yourself. Here we go. Everybody is laughing at your prophet. Shaitan, he says, Our Lord is Allah, the exalted, the glorious. The glorious. Uh, Shaitan saying that. And that explain why Muhammad in different hadith says that shaitan he command me to do good. Do you remember the hadith, guys? Have you ever heard of anyone in the world who claimed that shaitan command him to do good? This is your prophet. Jesus command me to do good. Muhammad was commanded by who? Read with me carefully, Shaitan. Shaitan. Do you see it? Shaitan. Shaitan is commanding Muhammad. Shaitan, he converted to Islam. Shaitan. Shaitan, he submitted to Allah. Shaitan, he converted to Allah. Shaitan, he surrendered to Allah. You're a prophet from your books is commanded by the devil and he is a Muslim devil Have you ever heard of a I mean uh, by the way? I understand if the devil converted to Islam because I think this is the only religion it fit with him It's violence full of hate bloodshed killing you name it So why shaitan will not convert to Islam this is the only logical story in the stories of Muhammad The Islam soldier, do you understand your Quran? You are asking us to understand Romans 7 as if you know. If, do you believe in Romans 7 and Romans 8? You don't even know your Quran. I mean, look at the Muslims, Christians. Christians, you don't understand Romans 7, Christians. Let me ask you, brother, why your Quran never mentioned the book of Romans 7? Hmm? Why your Quran is short of every knowledge, my friend? I mean, you have the book, have nothing. Fairy tale stories about Shaitan trying to spy, yet we cannot find any wisdom there and any, any even history. A Muslim who is, uh, by the way, there's a guy in the in YouTube in the in the comment. He said to me, the interpretation made by Ibn Kathir is wrong because Allah said in the Quran, nobody knows the meaning of the Quran, save Allah. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. Nobody knows the mean of the Quran save Allah. I mean, how stupid this God is to say such a word that nobody knows what the Quran means save Allah. So what the Quran for and how we can understand the Quran? You are not required to understand the Quran, you idiot. Just recite it. So when you read for them interpretation and they are ashamed of it, they say to you, Nobody is, uh, nobody knows the meaning of the Quran, brother. Who said so? Allah, brother. Allah in chapter 3, verse number 7, brother. Nobody and none knows the explanation of the Quran, save Allah. What a religion, man. Have you ever heard of a cult like this? And the funny, he says to us, we send you this book as a guidance, but we don't understand the meaning of the book.
So how we can be guided by a book? Nobody can understand it. Hmm? The Quran, the Quran for you who speak Arabic and those who don't speak Arabic. It's the same at the end of the day. It's like an Arab guy, you know, who do not know good English and he buy, let us say, uh, he buy like a, a dining room. And then there is many screws he have to put. And after he put all the, the trails and etc., he find that there's 50 screws extra. Do you know why? Because he do not understand the manual. Where does he think there are extra? They, he throw them away. And this is exactly how a Muslim he practice Islam. They do not know. So the screws is all over. And they do not know how to explain these verses. And the Quran is a very stupid book. And Muhammad himself could not explain the Quran, so he come with this saying there's 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 many things in the Quran nobody can explain save Allah. And why Allah He made them? Allah He made them for those who have a, a disease in their heart. So Allah He He's Shaitan, because why Allah want to make verses which will make people play games with it? And nobody knows what the verses mean. What about you make it make it clear so Shaitan cannot play with it? No, this is the plan. The fact Muhammad is a thief, he can't explain anything. Now we go back to our topic. What is our topic, guys? Our topic is about James Bond. Peace upon him. So James Bond, a peace upon him, he was very attractive for women. Muhammad, very attractive. So we can say, like almost they are equal, but James Bond, maybe uh his specialty was blondies. Sometimes, you know, there's some African women. Muhammad, his specialty, everything. I mean, with the Prophet, when he walk in the street, even the stones, they get excited. They say to him, Assalamu alaikum, brother. All right? Trees, they speak to the Prophet. They say, the goats speak to him. The camel, everybody, everybody love the Prophet. Everybody, everybody, not only women. So they jump. I mean, they go crazy. Uh, 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 so James Bond have a, like a different kind of uh, uh, attitude toward women Muhammad uh, he don't like women really but women they loved him what he can do I mean you ask the Muslims why Muhammad he marry Aisha at the age of six they say it's not him it's Allah Allah showed him a dream he have to marry her so that's it the Prophet he have to marry her uh, the Prophet was not marrying women because he liked women no he was doing a charity James Bond no James Bond was not doing charity he's a bad person not like the Prophet so we have to notice here that he is he, uh, the James Bond is a womanizer the Prophet is holy Absolutely, you know, he is all about holiness. Uh, even the Quran says he is a very bad sinner, but anyway, he is still holy for the Muslims. But look what happened here. After we heard this story about shaitans trying to spy at Allah, and shaitan he could not do that. But how we can explain the Quran then? I mean. When you Muslims you say that shaitans was spying at Allah all this time, and only when Muhammad became a prophet, shaitan he cannot spy. Why? You see, if you go in the Quran, Allah He says, and we made the sky full of guards. Guard against who? Against shaitan. Otherwise, guards from who? I mean, you let you tell me. Chapter seventy-two, verse number eight. It says, <clears throat> Read with me, please, carefully. Here, the shaitan and the genies. Hmm? There's the stupid ones of us. The shaitan talking now. He will say, we thought that the shaitans and the jinn, they will say lies to us about Allah. And there is some human, they use the shaitan to bring in news. So like, you know, shaitan, like, you know, you, you know, you know, those, uh, uh, what they call them, the fortune teller, you know, what I mean, you know, you know what I mean? 
like you know you go they read your your uh, uh, your hand like your future according to Muhammad those are what this verse is talking about the fortune teller they tell you what will happen in the future they associate with the shaitan shaitan he go and he tell them the news he steal the news and they make you pay and you know so give you the news because this is must be true news however uh those shaitans they thought that they can spy at Allah forever and they thought as we thought as you thought that Allah will never will not send any messenger to mankind or jinn but what is that I mean I thought Allah he sent already 124,000 messenger before Muhammad so if the reason for shaitan he can spy that's because Allah did not send a messenger yet that's mean all the messengers came before Muhammad was a liars they are liars they are not real so they thought Allah will not send messenger mm -hmm. and by the way it doesn't say even messenger it says Allah will not send anyone but it, it can mean as a messenger and then the genie they said and we have thought to reach the heaven but we found it filled with this a stern guard and flaming fires mm. so after Allah he sent the messenger Muhammad shaitan at the beginning like in the time of Moses in the time of Isa in the time of Adam shaitan he can spy at Allah as he wish it was a lousy heaven who goes who come out no guards but when Muhammad he came look what happened security became so tight and nobody can get it through and this is one of the advantage of having Prophet Muhammad in this earth now shaitan that's it out of business he was spying for centuries during Moose as he was a spying during Abraham was a spying during Isa was a spying and nobody can stop them but when the Prophet Muhammad he came shaitan he cannot spy that's it they tried to go to the sky and they found the sky full of guards snipers machines guns with them and they shoot by stars and then and verily we used to sit in stations to still hearing because do you see do you see do you see the I mean do you see the fantasy here how beautiful I mean this is so beautiful I, I want to go home I want to I, I, I want to I want to lay down and enjoy this beauty I mean think about it shaitan he used to go to heaven and there is a station to spy it's like satellite you know like you know it's not only he goes spy. I mean they have stations imagine imagine how shaitan is organized he don't go just in the sky and like he start walking around shish kebab shish kebab no brother they go to a station they have a station there like coffee machine tea you know they sit and they relax station like spaceship station my brother do we have any Muslims listening I mean isn't it this is amazing so brothers the shaitan he used to go to heaven and there's a station there for them and this station is a is a is a headquarter for a spine like the kgb uh dr evil the guy who put his uh little tiny finger in his mouth you remember him dr evil and his uh, the midget uh, uh son whatever so dr evil shaitan he have a spine station in in the house of Allah and look what happened and verily we used to sit there look 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 they don't stand they sit I mean we have to be careful here because this is what it says in Arabic actually it says there is they don't stand and there is a reason for that because if you um, just show you the logic and the intelligence brother if you stand up and you are trying to spy Allah and the angels will see you so what they do they sit so nobody can see them 
and that makes sense so we sit down in a in a sitting to listen not only the sit is in Arabic in the translation let me change the translation maybe we can find some uh, another Abdul is better in this translation hold on Arabic uh, who is this guy Arabic we will sit there a seat to uh, on seats to hear look at this guy this guy supposed to now be translated so we sit there in a seat to hear actually it doesn't say that it says in we sit in a in a seat of hearing which means it's made for hearing it's the purpose of it for spying it's like a station huh? like you have a playstation you have a headphone you know like like you know i mean i don't know how to explain to you by the way uh, uh the reason for the reason I, I mean just to explain to you why i can explain to you first of all you guys are not arab and sadly, because you guys are not Arab, that's mean you are not smart like me. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't want to upset you. All right. Uh, but the truth hurt. Uh, what I can say. Uh, I will explain it to you like in different way. Uh, maybe it, it fit with your, uh, you know, like, I mean, uh, grade, you know. What we are talking about is above your grade. Okay, right now, what we just heard, this is Shaitan sitting in the station of hearing and spine. And he was collecting the information from Allah. And in case you do not know, Morris code was not created by the guy, his name is Morris, as those Western they claim. It was created by Shaitan. Satanic, you know, true story. And now I will translate for you what this code was saying. Okay, the shaitan and this uh, spine, they were able to hear the angel saying, Allah and his messengers knows best. Allah and his messengers knows best. So it's a true story. Now, uh, after, after this happened, the gods are all over. And, you know, they used to go and sit and hear. But look what happened now. And then, and so we know not whether evil is intended for those in earth or whether their lord intent of them uh, you know uh, something good so they go to listen to see what will happen to those people who live in the earth i mean the purpose is uh, is nice i mean they want to go spy for us they're spying for mankind actually so they go to allah heaven and try to spy because allah he gave orders to the angels uh and uh, you know and what the angels they do they listen at the angels and Allah talking and then they take the information and they bring it to the uh, storyteller or like a fortune teller all right and then you know they tell you what will happen tomorrow for you and for sure by the way this is true I mean uh, the prophet he is not lying or anything I mean this is must be true I, uh, I challenge anyone to say this is not right hmm? In different, uh, uh, let, there's a hadith. Let me try to find it. I don't know if I can find it in, uh, in English. Hold on. <clears throat> I just remember a hadith, but I'm not sure if I can find it in English. We cannot find it in English. But this is a Sahih hadith. Uh, but we can find this one, I think, in Al Qurtubi. Let us see if we can find it in Al Qurtubi. Search Google for the hadith. Okay, Fath al Bari fi Sharhi Sahih al Bukhari is good. Let us go to Fath al Sahih al Bukhari. All right. Hadith number 3178. It says, that Aisha, she said, in the Malaika to Hadithu fil Anan, the angels they speak in the cloud. 
ولا أنان والغمام and the, the, the word أنان mean the, the cloud by the command is going to happen in the in the in the earth so the shayateen the satans they hear the words and then they take it in their ears and they drop it in the ears of the monks the monks here they are not christian monks those are like uh, they call them al kohan like the ones who uh, uh, claim knowledge of of sky you know so they have they are connected through the genie and the shaitan so they tell it to them and then those people they like the shaitan he give them one true news and then they attach to it like 100 lie that's what Aisha is saying all right now if a muslim want to say Aisha is a liar this is your business i don't know you know it's your business uh let me see another hadith if i can get another one hold on We cannot find this one too. Um, unbelievable. Okay. Yeah. Shaitan, not only he steal information, Shaitan, he steal prayer. As you see in this hadith here with me. Any Muslim here can, can tell us how Shaitan can do that? How shaitan can steal your prayer? Any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? Let me explain to you. You pray to Allah. Shaitan is an idiot. He steal your prayer. And then he use your prayer for his benefit. I will give you an example. We the Arab, we are the first one who made cars in the world. And then a Western shaitan, he was a Jew actually, he uh, stole the idea from us. We were thinking about it, praying to Allah to make the cars. Then this shaitan, who is from the West, he came and he stole the idea and he made cars before us. So he claimed now that he have who is the one who made the car is him, not the Arab. But the fact it's us, the first one who make a car, and we call it a mule. And even the Quran confirmed that, brother. So here you notice, brother, that Shaitan is very, very. I mean, he 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 steal information from the sky, and he steal even your prayer. Let us show the different hadith. Uh, which hadith I'm going to share with you? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can find this one. This one will be hilarious if we can get it in English. But I don't think we can get that in English because this is a very dangerous one. I don't think the Muslims will translate this one. Oh, they translated. Unbelievable. What the heck? I found it translated. It's hard to believe, to be honest with you. Um, I cannot believe it. Let us see. Hmm. Just to be sure, this is the yeah. Okay, look, guys, what happened, brother and sisters, brothers. Allah Prophet said, and you know all of you, when the Prophet he says something, it must be true. So please put a note about that, and don't think ever for a second the Prophet he tell a lie is not a true. Allah Prophet said. When Allah decrees some orders in heaven, so Allah decrees some orders. He, he ordered who? The angels. The angels flutter their wings like, tick, 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 tick. you know, like Allah, he says, go and make hummus. All the angels, they use their wings like, you know, like, hey, make hummus. You know, so when, when, the, when Allah, he make an order, and by the way, this is true. This is absolutely true. All right? So Allah give an order. The angels, they move their wings happy from happy and they make a sound with it, indicating complete surrender to his. So how the angels, they, uh, they, they, they say shahada, 
it's it's a way to say shahada surrender you know by moving their wings like hey Allah he says something all the angels like hey like it's a true I I mean myself I saw I saw that too okay I used to go always to heaven and I watch the angels because they look really uh, like uh, Turkey the, the the angels of Allah so anyway but the only difference they are very white as you know in, the, in Islam everything is white it cannot be I mean the, it cannot be black Turkey they have to be this is a racist religion as you know so brother uh, they surrender to his saying which with with uh, which sound like chains being dragged on a rock Eww. mean do you see it looked like their wings is made from steel brother their wings is made from steel and when the state of fear disappear they ask each other so when Allah talk they start in fear like, they get scared they are not happy they are terrified Allah is talking and they move their wings like chickens but their wings is like they have a sound of a steel and then they ask each other what has your Lord ordered I mean look at this Allah he gave an order now Allah stopped talking the angels they move their wings which is made from steel and or they made a sound of a steel and then they say to each other what did you hear what Allah order they say that he has said that which is a true and just and he is the most high the most great chapter 33 34 verse number 23 then the steel listeners the devil hear the order oh boy here here we have the drama the boss of James Bond he gave an order to James Bond the shaitan did not hear directly now what the boss of James Bond he said then James Bond he see a blondie the secretary outside so she asked him what happened what he said to you so James Bond he say to the secretary the blonde girl what he heard from the boss and in the office of the secretary there's a phone and obviously the shaitan is listening hello <laughs> I mean hello yeah what's wrong with you what's wrong with you it's very clear and very easy to understand all right so guys anyone want the reference anyone want the reference huh from Kara. thank you guys for the donation thank you we appreciate that uh this is the link for those who want a hadith i hope people will save it they ask each other what has your lord ordered they say that he has said that which is a true and just and he is the most high the most great and then after the devil he steal the information those who steal the listeners are like this one over the other which means the, the the information will be transmitted from person to person all right and then the news will be all over but then after they take the information they are not done yet Allah he still will shoot them with a star read with me carefully sometimes but not always sometimes a flame fire may strike the devil before he can convey it sometime look like Allah he not always he is succeed to uh, to shoot shaitan sometime and I do not know why sometime not always any Muslims knows why Any Muslim knows why sometime, not always? Anyone? So guys, what do you think about this topic? Isn't it interesting? Isn't it interesting? If there is any reason for us, after all of this, not to believe that Muhammad is a true prophet, I mean, there is no way this is not, a, first of all, it's logical. It must be true. And it's proven. And it is, makes sense. I mean, nothing there doesn't make sense. 
so I don't know why you guys are not converting to Islam you see shaitan he convert to Islam shaitan he says shahada they heard the Quran shaitan he tried to steal that information from Allah which is very normal you know put yourself in the shoe of shaitan what you would do you will do that you will steal information too right now who is a Muslim is willing to call me in in, in pal talk so I can open pal talk to discuss this topic do we have any Muslim is willing to call me in pal talk any Muslim is willing to call me in pal talk I will open my pal talk if there is a Muslim is willing to call me about this topic anyone Do we have any Muslim? My ID is a Christian Prince, Christian and the school Prince. Let me type it for you. You want to call me Islam soldier? You want to call me? Are you sure? This is my ID in Pal Talk. Say yes, and I will open Pal Talk for, for you. Anyone? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim? He is proud to be a Muslim when I discuss with us this topic. Don't worry, my friend. You don't need to be afraid of me. Allah is in your side. Don't you know Allah? He said in the Quran, in the chapter of Al-Anfal, if one uh, one Muslim with patient, he can fight ten people. He can fight ten Christian prince. Not only the you know, ten, not only one. That's what Allah said. Do we have any Muslim? And then the Muslims, they went to war and they lost. Allah, he promised them, if you fight one to ten, you will win. Anyone? By the way, I like it when the Prophet said, sometime a flame of fire may strike the devil, sometime. Look like Allah gun is not always loaded like a James Bond and that make it more realistic you know like James Bond you could keep shooting keep shooting I mean think about it I mean the first bullet the second bullet even Christian Prince gun is not like that I mean American movies are really crazy man the gun of the guy in the movie never empty like uh, you know what his name this guy uh, the Terminator you know the terminator in the movie he was shot in the right shoulder in the second scene the the stupid the one who made who made the blood uh, scene he put it in the left shoulder they forgot which one <laughs> look like they made they made the second the second scene after a week <laughs> imagine you see the guy was shot in the right shoulder after uh, five minutes before after 10 minutes the guy he is coming and he is what he is shot in the left shoulder. This is American movie. Muhammad movie is better. Look, Allah gun is not always loaded. So what happened? I think here that sometimes shaitan get uh, uh, shot because Allah not always can aim correctly. He miss, and not always he have bullets. Like he shoot like and then his gun is empty, and during the time Allah he fill up his gun. Then Shaitan he can escape. There are many of them. He cannot shoot them all. Do we have any Muslim? And this is why today I decide actually uh, to make the topic about uh, Prophet Muhammad versus James Bond. And I think well, there's no doubt that uh, Prophet Muhammad he won. And I think all of you agree.
anyone disagree that the Prophet Muhammad is first of all he is more attractive for women Prophet Muhammad that the point Allah himself he made a verse in the Quran says any women she gave herself to the Prophet I mean look at this it's not like one or two I mean the, the whole Muslims there's one billion Muslim half of them they are they are they are females or maybe more than the half all of them they wish to have uh, zigs with the Prophet I mean the Prophet if he's alive right now a man I feel sorry for him all those women are lined up they want to sleep with him and uh, James Bond is limited you know why he's limited because the script is written by somebody else the stories of Muhammad is written by Muhammad himself so he is unlimited all right <laughs> Oh, really old. Any Abdul? And yeah, and the James Bond, he sleep with women. The Prophet, he sleep with the children. I mean, there's no age limit. Thank you for reminding me about that. James James Bond, he sleep with women who they are mature. You know, the Prophet, he sleep with everybody. It doesn't matter who. I mean, this guy is always ready. And not only that, by the way. There's an advantage even Aisha who supposes she's a virgin she said that nobody have penises and and, uh, and testicles like the Prophet look at this hadith the Muslim they translate the hadith in different way which is very funny look what Aisha she said about the Prophet the Prophet say she, the Aisha she said Allah messenger Allah pray on him and, and salute him he used to kiss me why he is observing the fast the guy is fasting but he is kissing and playing with the wife i mean come on eh, it's too much fasting and then and and then she said who of you can control irabu the muslim they translate the word arab as desire the fact this is not true irabu is his sexual uh, organs so who of you can control his sexual organs question muslims how aisha she knew that if she is a, a virgin, she never slept with any man except Muhammad. You know what I mean, guys? Imagine I marry a virgin, she never had a man before, and then she go and she say, a Christian prince is the best in bed, man. Like, how she know? You're a virgin. Uh, Abdul, are you getting my point? So, according to the Islamic books, Muhammad is the best in sexuality. Anyone who, guys, do you remember the story uh, uh, of Prophet Muhammad? He was, uh, uh, he invoked Allah and Allah, he sent him a dish. Anyone remember a dish of what? Hmm? Let me get the hadith. Prophet of Allah, he said, I was the most weak person between mankind in Bang Bang. Here, by, by the way, I mean, we have to analyze this story. And I have, uh, I, I know many Christians will be disappointed by the way I analyze it, because here we have to show respect to the Prophet. You notice in this story uh, that the Prophet is honest. Look, he is not shy to say, he have sexual problem. I mean, how many of us will go in public and say, "I wa, I, I have, I am the worst uh, weak person in uh, sexuality"? Nobody would do that. Do you understand, brother? Prophet of Allah, he said, but nobody is willing to say. Let me. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get the hadith for you. I know I will not find it in English, but yeah. Anyway, uh, here are the hadith in front of me. What is the book name for the Muslims who they are wondering? I'm reading what? Here we go. This is the As Siraj al Munir, Sharh al Jami al Sagir. The explanation by As Sharh al Jami al Sagir. All right? Okay. Oh, no, actually, not this one. Hold on. Let us. Uh, this one is hard for you to read in the in the screen. Um, let us see which one. Uh, this one. All right. All right. 
this is the uh, the website of uh, Sheikh al uh, Sheikh al uh, Sharawi, I think, Al Iman. Uh, look what it says, brother. Brother. The title of the book here in the in the section here, the mentioning of the strength of the prophet in Bang Bang. I'm just translating as it is. Fijima. I change any Muslim to say I'm lying. It's been said by, 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 that the prophets, he said, I was the lowest person between all mankind in Bang Bang. Until Allah, he sent down al kufait al kufait like, you know, you say Kufta, I don't know if you heard the word Kufta. Kufta is like Kebab. You know, Kebab. Some people, they say Kaboob, whatever. So Allah, he sent him Shish Kebab. In, in an hour. And each time he needed Allah, he sent him the dish. And he ate it, and it's a dish have meat. All right. And then it says, "Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, laqini Jibril bi qadrin fa akaltu minha wa atitu kufayt quwata arba'in rajulin fi jima." Translation: Gabriel or Jibril, he came to me and he gave me a dish. This dish is what? What? This is a dish from Allah, he cooked in the kitchen of Allah by Allah Himself. Amazing. If Allah open a YouTube channel for cooking recipe for sex, you can imagine how many people will subscribe. So uh, 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 Jibril came to me and he have a dish. It's called uh, 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 it's full of meat. It's called al kufait. And I, after I get at it, I get the power of forty men. And then here it says. He continue another hadith. قال رأيتك إني أتيت بقدر فأكلت منها. I saw as I'm, I I ate from a dish, uh, uh, been given a dish or a, like a container of food. I ate from it, and then, like I fill my stomach with it, and then when I want to have sex with my wives, I can do them all in one hour. Look how 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 many women Muhammad he have, but he can sleep with all of them in one hour. So this is why I say that James Bond. Yes, he is very famous, very well known for many of you, but James Bond cannot do that. You know, we have to be we have to be careful, brother. James Bond is not even close. Like you, you see in the movie, James Bond, like he is with one woman, and hardly he can move after he finish. Like uh, you know, he wanna eat and he wanna drink some beer. Muhammad, he have no no mercy. He start with the first one. He never stop until he finished the last one. It's like a gun machine. Like, do, 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 you know? Uh, and there's a hadith that says, uh, that he do them all in one hour. Let me see if I can find a hadith in English. Look at this hadith here. Even Muhammad, he didn't even take a shower. James won't take a shower after sex. Muhammad, he f all his wives without a shower. He finish, he take a shower at the end. And here we need to understand, brother, not because the prophet, he is not interested in being clean, but because he can't stop. That's it. He start, that's it. He have to finish the business. I mean, women are lining up. Put yourself in his, his bed. You have a lot of women. He, how he can take a break? He cannot go to show. He don't have no time. He have to finish them all, and he have to treat them equally. He have to do it equally to all of them. Bang, 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 bang. Like you know, he start counting like bang, 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 bang. Like so, he have to do it all together until he finish all, and then after he finish, then he take a shower, brother. All right. And here you see that the prophet obviously is very special. Look at this one. The prophet used to visit all his wives in one night. The fact doesn't say that. It says, This is for six. And I will prove it. Hold on. You see, this is why it says in one 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 uh, in one uh, in one wash. What do you mean visit his wives in one wash? He's talking about, about sex. All right. Uh, I'm trying to find the hadith. Yeah, well, anyway. Hmm. You get the point. You get the point. So we have to be honest here. Who is the best? Let us make a vote. Who is the winner 
in his story of fictions Prophet Muhammad or James Bond I say Prophet Muhammad so I would like to see people leaving their comments in the in this video and please don't forget to download this video and share it everywhere you can we don't I don't keep my videos for long in my channel so it's your duty to help me to spread them all over now I want to say again thank you for those who help us with donation uh, but always guys remember if you like to help us more it's better is better than here if you have a choice to do so battery is better than go Google but if this is the only choice you have then you know this is the only choice you have and uh, I advise uh, James Bond to read the books of Bukhari and the Quran so he can come with better ideas I mean it's really boring this James Bond he go in the I mean he go any place right away the women like she is she want to sleep with him I mean where is the dignity be like the Prophet Muhammad Prophet Muhammad he don't go anywhere women want to sleep with him without going I mean the guy women are lined up until now they want to sleep with him All right uh, yeah actually this is what we do here it's all about education it might be funny it might be entertaining but it's not the point really to entertain people but you know let us say a smart teacher is the one who don't make you get bored when you are listening and learning right uh, you go to a classroom and then after five minutes you start seeing the students yawning and by the way yawning is against Allah in case you do not know you know that right who remember Allah like those who do sneeze and dislike those who do yawning and here you notice that Allah obviously he don't like lazy students so Allah he loves sneezers this is why I used to open a chat room it's called let us sneeze for the sake of Allah and then the Muslim they reported me to pal talk a company to close my chat room and I said why the Prophet says so this is the only God who like sneezers so let us sneeze for Allah and please don't yawn because if you yawn shaitan get happy excited and Islam lose guys what do you think if we establish a day it's called the day of yawning the whole world start yawning in the same moment I mean that would be fantastic and you can imagine what will happen to Allah I think Allah will commit suicide if he that happened if every single human from China all the way to America, Australia, Canada, everywhere, everybody is yawning in the same moment. Or we do the opposite to make Allah happy. You know, we do, we create a day, it's called the day of a sneeze, a sneeze for the sake of Allah. And every human being in this earth, he sneezes, including the cats. <laughs> you know, the cats, they sneeze. And if you sneeze and everybody sneeze, Allah is so happy and he is he have a happy feet then. Have you ever heard of a religion like this? Why Allah he don't like yawning? Because if you uh, uh, yawn, shaitan, he jump inside your mouth. And he actually in different he says he piss inside your mouth. And he laugh inside your opening. And by the way, this is true. Once the Muslims, they made an article that the Prophet said, when one of you, he yawn, cover his mouth. As you see in the hadith here. Look what the Muslims, they play, how the deception play. They took only this and they make an article about it. They did not copy the rest. And they are telling you that how the prophet he knew that this is the best way to protect to protect a human being health from germs spreading so they make it about germs and bacteria and you know but this is not what the story about it's about your prophet is teaching fairy tale stories so they copy this part this part and they made an article saying brother brother how the prophet brother how the prophet if he is not a prophet 
how he knew brother that shaitan sorry that, that we have to cover our uh, uh, our uh, our mouth brother how he knew that so look how they change everything and make it something totally different from a story about fictions stupidity suddenly they make it about science this one my friend when you listen Muslims saying something to you about Muhammad 99.9999% it is a lie and here we prove it every day and as you see I never mentioned something to you without giving you the reference never and the reason we insist to give reference and we show the screen so nobody can say it's a lie yet even after we show it in the screen even after we show the hadith even after we read it for them even though it's their own Islamic website still they say in the chat in the text the Muslim they say it's a lie and they say it is the if even though it says it is sahih because Muslims today they live in denial ashamed of their prophet he cannot stop his mouth exposing himself and the more he talk the more he expose his lies did we have a good time together guys I want to say thank you for all those who support us from those who made donation and those who download the videos and those who uh, uh, bring their friends and uh, 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 be sure be sure that when you listen to us to take notes otherwise what come from the right side of your head will go out from the left side and trust me I'm not here wasting my time honest to God you know people they are they are asking me why are you not taking Muslim cause you see I am doing this for for years and years and it is not really it's not healthy scream and shouting and your blood pressure goes up and you get headache it's not that easy as many people maybe we laugh and etc but it is not healthy so maybe for you it's just fun for me it is not I wish one day I will wake up in the morning and this cult is gone I'm doing what I am doing because people they need what I am doing not because it's fun for me trust me I hate it it's very stupid Imagine if this cult does not exist, we will be doing something totally different. We will be doing something useful. But now we have to fight a disease. It's called the lies of Muhammad. People, they are dying every day because of this cult. Many naive people, they want to desperately kill themselves just to go to Jannah, go to heaven so they can get the 72 women and their legs is open wide for them. And Allah will make them virgin again and again. So this is affecting our life, our security, our, our economy. It's not just a joke. It is very serious. People die every day because of this cult. And we are talking about thousands of people, not one or two. Even your, your travel is infected because of Islam. You can't even go in the airplane as before. Your ticket, airline ticket, by the way, now it's double price because of Islam, in case you do not know. Every airport in the world, they have to hire hundreds and thousands of employees just for security. And that goes all in your ticket. If you think it's for free, it's not. You pay for it. The time you pay to stay in the line just for the check of security. Before 9-11, we used to go and walk to the airplane. And even you can take your family with you to say goodbye. So, don't think that this is a comedy or a stand-alone comedy show. This is a very sad news to the world. When they say to you there is only 10% of Muslims believe in terrorism, that's mean 140 million terrorists. 140 million. Islam is the biggest terrorist ter terror organization in the world. And they lie when they say only 10%. Why only 10%? The, re the rest of the 90% they don't believe in Islam?
so my friend I appreciate you all and I hope you will always stand with those who stand for the truth love you and I hope to see you soon again maybe tomorrow if I could and pray that we will do our best and our word will be heard and I pray that you guys are not here just to have fun but to do your part which is sharing the truth and the truth will set you free and I say to the Muslims I am a Christian for a reason I am a person who speak Arabic Arabic is my first language and when I read the Quran I don't see something miraculous I see something stupid they lie to you when they say that nobody can make Quran like the Quran the Arab in the time of Muhammad they made fun of the Quran this is why Muhammad he spent his life and none of his tribes even his uncles even believe in him did you ask yourself why when they say to you the Quran is amazing why they don't want to believe in it because it's stupid and the Quran confirm everything we said shaitan he steal information what kind of God you want to say such a thing why you have a lack of security and how shaitan he can go to heaven he have wings we shoot shaitan by a fire so he cannot how is that and what does that mean and if shaitan he live in the earth how we can how you shoot him or oh, shoot in stars which is lamps how silly if we believe that there is God we should accept in the same time that God cannot be stupid and this is a stupid God telling us fairy tale stories is not even good for kids once I said to a six years old girl uh, did you want to buy a broom to so you can fly <laughs> you think I'm stupid That's a lie. Six years old, five years old. How you believe in this garbage? Use your brain if you have one. If you don't, eh, I give up. Thank you very much, guys, for being here. May the Lord bless you. And remember to subscribe, please, because we do our broadcast in different timings so we can be with our beloved brothers and sisters in the Far East like Indonesia and uh, yeah, Philippines and etc. So I do my broadcast in different timing, but usually around this time every day. So subscribe and be sure that your notification is on so you can join us and may the Lord bless you all. Thank you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.